You know, what? it has taken us so long to get this darn signature glass of wine done. And it's not wine anyway. It's not. It's coffee. It's coffee. This is Jill for today, and this is the signature glass of wine slash movie review today. It's movie review it's, day? It's exciting. Okay. How are you? I'm good. We got haircuts. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And um, it's fall, very exciting. Yeah, and it's been an absolutely oh, gorgeous fall. Gorgeous here. fall. Gorgeous. So we've been, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Cold, though. Very. Well, cold for us. 38 this morning, <laughs> that was cool. We are so rusty. I swear, I don't know whether we're going to get through this. Yeah, we had a, it's been very cold, but it's been beautiful, and the leaves are starting to fall. We've had a ton of rain, which is good. We need the rain, so there's no complaints. And uh, Turkey Day is coming up here very soon. Thanksgiving Day is coming up. And I tell him every year, and he says, it's impossible. No, it doesn't. I'm, I'm hoping you experience this as well. Every year, my mother explained this to me. When you're a baby and you're born and you're one year old, that year is long because it's only one part of your life. And then you're two and then you're 10 and then you're 20. And that's only one twentieth of your, right? One twentieth of your life. You have to realize her mother was a walnut harvest. I mean, a major nut job. So, you get to being older, not older, but you know, any year that you're there, every year gets faster because it's a smaller part of your life. And I tell him this every year that it is like a, it's like a freight train moving through, and you can't stop it. And you're trying to embrace it because the holidays or the beautiful fall weather or whatever it might be in your life that you're trying to hang on to their life ain't going to happen. That's it. Her theory is that you lose a minute each year you're married. So <laughs> we've been married 47 years, so an hour takes 13 minutes for us. But. You're so funny. So that's my take on, on the clock of life and Thanksgiving. Now, we... I am getting to the point where I really want to cut back on the time I spend in the kitchen. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not going to make cooking videos, but I'm getting to where I say, you know what? I don't want a huge, complicated recipe. I want something simple. I want it down and dirty, and I want to put it on our plate, and everything is happy. And we have started to do that. She eats like a bird anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I ha we made a video uh, yesterday, and it'll come out here in another week probably. I made a shepherd's pie, and it's basically convenient foods except for the ground beef. That's all I'm going to say about it, right? Yeah. Okay, and and it's just uh, so he. But goes, we are looking at doing more um, heat and serve meals, yeah, freezer he, meals. Yeah. So you know. Um, That's why the I made a bunch of that. Uh, what do you call it? A spin, a Shepherd's pie. <laughs> Woohoo! Meatloaves, things like yeah, that. Yeah, and we just you make enough, stick it in the freezer, and you, if you cook one, if you say, I'm going to make meatloaf, and you do two meatloafs, and you break them down, it, it takes all the same time to make that meatloaf, if it's one or two or 20. So anyway. We still enjoy cooking occasionally. Oh, yes, but for not, sure. Not every night no. to do a big meal. Have a soup or reheat no. something. But... You know, when we feel like it, we break out the nice dishes and mm -hmm. have candles and just sit and talk, mm -hmm. which we do every day a couple times. We have long coffee in the morning yeah. where we sit for an hour and two and just have coffee and talk, About catch it. up what's happened during the night. And what if I'm sleeping, the world? she's facing uh, the hall. I'm like a vampire. Stuff. And uh, mm -hmm. then we have tea in the afternoon mm -hmm. where we... Uh, civilized. Civilized. Sit down with a pot of tea and a scone or something like that and, again, visit. I mean, in fact, I made pumpkin scones the other day That's and I right. put them on. They're, I they put them on. Really and they're good. up there, so you might check out the recipe. Uh, what was I going to say? How are you feeling? I feel good. So am I. I feel good. I, For uh, an old guy. Since we last did a signature glass of wine, I had my last chemo treatment, and that was on September 20th. And so I got a, I got a, I, she took, cut me loose, and I have three, three month appointments where I'll go in and do the blood work and an appointment and all that. But it's amazing how quickly that two months has gone by and how wonderful it is that I'm freed up from that ritual. So that's been a big thing here. And we're all inoculated up. Yeah, we, we are. Uh, 
got boosters for COVID, we got our flu shots, and we got our RSV shots, mm. so we're set for the winter season. Yeah, we are. And I guess that's it. We're just hanging out. You know, we're we're pretty much homebodies now. We don't we do not do a lot. We've, We've gone we have out, some friends that we see. Gone out to a few bars. and. Uh, God, that sounds so... Well, we've gone out with to a few uh, micro bar, <laughs> micro breweries with with friends hanging out at the bar. <laughs> we went to a bourbon lounge with met friends there just for a drink before we went next door to it for Thai food, and they had a bourbon there that I have wanted to try forever. It's called Pappy Van Winkle's twenty three year old family recipe, and they had it now. To buy that on the open market would cost me four to five thousand dollars a bottle. Can you imagine? They that? had it for only a hundred and fifty dollars a shot. So he bought two. No, I didn't buy any. I couldn't bring myself to spend a hundred and fifty dollars for a shot. No, of it's bourbon, ridiculous. No matter how good it is. Yeah, and you know so the other thing we said. That's one thing on my bucket list that won't get won't get checked off. How many? Now this is not true. And I don't know of any bar that would do this. But if somebody, if you don't know what a certain bourbon or whatever, tequila, whatever it might be that you're going to taste, and you haven't had it before, and it's a very famous brand, and you don't know what it tastes like, if they slipped you a less expensive bourbon, I don't know. That's just saying. There's only 16 shots of bourbon in a bottle. So at $150 a shot, that's $2,400 a bottle. I'd That's rather have my signature good. glass of wine. It's yeah. a lot cheaper. <laughs> it is a lot cheaper. I go to Costco and get that for Kirkland brand. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Speaking of Kirkland brand, he came, he went to Costco Friday. That That's yesterday before Thanksgiving. He says, should I go out on, on Saturday? I said, have you lost your mind going out on Saturday before Thanksgiving? Friday was no picnic. Friday was no picnic. So he went in there and he came, and we talked about this. He came back. If you know, if you go to Costco and you look through their pre-made stuff, they have like this chicken pot pie. Now we're talking about convenience again, this chicken pot pie that's about this big. So he brought that home and we're gonna cook it. And then I'm gonna break it down into containers and I'm gonna freeze that. Costco's smart. What they do is they take their rotisserie chickens that didn't sell, they cut them up and they stick them in their chicken pot pie. And their chicken's good. Their chicken's good and very inexpensive. Great. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm in going with the convenience aspect yep. she has talked about buying costco rotisserie chickens mm -hmm. cutting them up and freezing them yeah and just reheat them yeah. for meals instead of going through all that you trouble. can't buy a whole chicken for what costco sells it for so anyway one thing i had wanted i wrote i didn't really do too much of a list but one thing i put on the list we we have a few squirrels that live in our area here. You know, we got little trees and there's a little... And we have one that we call... Some of the two-legged kind and some of the four-legged kind. <laughs> so we have one that we call Mischief. And I have a planter out front that has a beautiful camellia that's almost going to bloom. It's like right there. It's a Christmas yeah. plant. Yeah. Really. Um, and he, Mr. Mischief... For some reason, feels there is something in that pot that he needs. He knows there's nuts in there, or he knows there's something in there. Every day, I have to go out there and I have to bury up all the little holes that he has sat there and dug, and add more dirt because he's done this with the dirt, you know. Squirrels and, must be some of the most forgetful animals in I, the world. I just uh, he. He does. He does. Remember. And, you know, you'll see them and they're digging in the lawn. They say, no, that's not it. And they go to another spot. They no, that's not it. And poor little thing. I, he keeps wanting to feed them. And I said, no. Two not reasons. Not a good idea. Not, you're going to collect other vermin, perhaps. But the biggest one is that they, they need to be able to fend for themselves. If you feed him, then they're going to depend on you feeding him. We lived in an apartment before we yeah. bought this place. Yeah. Where we actually put food, put nuts out for this little squirrel. Mm -hmm. And Peanuts, one day we hadn't done it. And we had a, a, a table on our patio just outside the slide glass door. true story. And here's the squirrel. He's up there, he's standing on his hind legs. He's got his little paws on the front the screen, of the screen door. screen door. He wants his nuts. Where are so, my nuts? Where yeah, are my nuts? You don't want to nuts? get little wild animals dependent on them. No. So anyway, okay, back to movies. All right, we these are in no order, and some of them we've seen before, but they're all good movies. 
I think. Not all of them. We saw the new uh, Mission Impossible. Excellent. You it know, looked good out. It's an action movie. I don't agree with Tom Cruise on a lot of things, but I'll tell you, he, if you're into action, he gives you your money. He worth packs in it any in. movie. It was very and, good. Uh, yeah, very enjoyable. A lot of destruction. A lot of dead people. A lot high of body things count. blowing up. <laughs> yeah. High body count and high car yeah, he's, count. Yeah, he's kind of like uh, John Wick and. Uh, <sighs> Liam Neeson and uh, Gerard Butler. So we like those action movies. Yeah, they're fun. Uh, Kandahar, speaking of Gerard Butler. Gerard. And that was interesting. It takes place in Kandahar, <laughs> of all places. In the desert. Yeah, they actually filmed it in Saudi Arabia. It's actually, so, again, a very yeah. interesting movie. Yeah. I mean, I think that if we tell you what we've seen, we'll tell you, don't go there, or we'll say it was good. Of course, A Fish Called Wanda, you know, with Jamie Lee Curtis and uh, uh, John Cleese. Oh, my gosh. If you like just a fun film, oh, and what's his name? Uh, Kevin Costner. No, Kevin Klein. Kevin Klein. Oh my yes. word! He won an Academy Award for this one, Fish I Called can't Wanda. Can't remember whether it was this one or another. I can't either. And because we saw Fish Called Wanda, we tried to see uh, the other one, Fierce Creatures. Mm. But unfortunately, one of us is got a little hearing problem, so I'm dependent upon closed caption. And the closed caption on Fierce Creatures was so far off. That it was we, way behind, you know. called Xfinity and got our money back for the rental. So. Now, here is one that we said, I can't believe that all these years we've, like, stayed away from it. And it's Agatha Christie with uh, Poirot. How's that? Dead Poirot. 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 And we saw Death on the Nile. With, uh, uh, um, oh, heck, what's his Kenneth name? Branagh. Kenneth Branagh. As Poirot. Very good. Yes. Very he enjoyable. Really good. And I, we don't read Agatha Christie. We don't see Agatha Christie movies, but we are so glad that we decided to watch that. Plane. What the heck is Plane? Plane was another Gerard Butler movie where they their plane goes down on a desert island. Oh, it's yeah. occupied by terrorists or something. It's, oh, that's, it's, yeah. Okay. You yeah, know, it's, it's, uh, it's on the not French the worst movie. Gerard Butler movie, but not the best. Yeah, Speaking yeah. of which, oh. we may have mentioned this before. Gosh, oh my, what? But no, we, we did oh, see God. Phantom of the Opera with Gerard Butler as the Phantom. Not the greatest singer in the world, but I'm telling you, he did a great job. Incredible. And he did all his own singing. It was really amazing. If It's a musical, obviously. And if you... You think? Well, <laughs> it, you see it. If you yeah. have an opportunity, see it. It's an older film. It was before, really, he... he uh, yeah, before he got into the action yeah. thing, so... But, yeah, playing, it, that's on the fridge of, eh. Uh, Sisu. Oh, my gosh, Sisu. <laughs> Sisu is another S -I -S -U. very violent movie. Big it was time. advertised on uh, Xfinity as the most fun you can have killing Nazis. So, uh, but it's about an old prospector that finally hits the gold strike and... The Nazi steal his gold, and he's not going to take that line. No, yet. it was great. And it's all subtitles. Yeah, it is, we, which we kind of yeah. enjoy. Sorcerer. Sorcerer is an old Nicolas Cage movie. Again, a lot of fun. Um, he's a sorcerer, and mm -hmm. he finds his apprentice. Yeah, so. it's it's fun. Again, it's another fun, enjoyable film. Uh, yes, Robin Hood with Russell Crowe. We had never seen the Russell Crowe version mm -hmm. of Robin Hood. Mm -hmm. Uh, but again, he did a great job. I think and, so. Yeah, and, and we enjoyed it. Mm -hmm, the, you know, it's a, actually the Robin Hood story. You know, the Kevin Costner one has a certain line of uh, storytelling. This Russell Crowe one is a different. Little, yeah, a little offshoot. A little different offshoot. So it's very. It's not the same. Mm -hmm. so, Avatar. Why just like water? We saw the new Avatar. Um, oh yeah. The sequel. And she loved Avatar so much. We both enjoyed it, the original one. Yeah. That this one just felt, I don't know. Oh, um, well, it was really, I use this term, and it's, I don't mean it to be a derogatory term. It's a teeny bopper movie. It's, it's, it is. I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, focusing in on young teenage age. You're making us sound older than we are. Well, hell, we are old, honey. Yeah. So anyway, it was fair. Sneakers. Sneaker. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, Sneakers is a fun movie. Uh, that uh, Robert Redford. Robert Redford is the star. Uh, ben Kingsley is mm -hmm. the bad guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it's a interesting movie mm -hmm. and a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. 
Oh, the Patriot. We see the Patriot frequently. Oh, boy. Mel Gibson, again, not the greatest actor in the world, and he's, I don't know, uh, a little, well, little messed up in the head, I guess, but the Patriot is a, uh, a very exciting movie about the Revolutionary War, yeah. and it's loosely based upon uh, Francis Marion, who was a uh, Revolutionary War Patriot that came to be known as the Swamp Fox, if you are old enough to remember the swamp old Fox, Disney swamp series. Fox. So, Go ahead. You know who played the Swamp Fox mm -hmm. on the Disney no, series? Who? Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What else? Of course, you you're too. I'm not. I'm just too young to even oh, remember yeah. that, my love. Oh, Forrest Gump. You know, it's interesting. These are all from Fourth of July weekend. I mean, just, yeah. the Patriot is and Forrest Gump is. I mean, Forrest Gump is really a classic. Mm -hmm. And if you have seen it, watch it again. If you've not seen it, watch it. Pelican Brief. Oh, my word with Julia Roberts and Denzel. Denzel Washington. Oh. And, uh, yeah. Is this a Grisham or Baldocky? Grisham. Baldocky. Um, Grisham Baldocky. I'm not sure. I think it's Grisham. But, uh, uh, Sam oh, Shepard. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, that's a great and the, film. The other one that makes us want to see is the Conspiracy Theory. Again, a Mel Brooks movie. No, Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. <laughs> Sorry, not Mel Brooks. <laughs> different, different person completely. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Conspiracy Theory is another excellent uh, Mel excellent. Gibson movie. Excellent. Excellent movie. What do you uh, got? The second best exotic. Yeah, Marigold we love the Hotel. exotic Marigold Hotel movies, maybe because it's. About people in our generation, but yeah, uh, yeah. some of them even older, right? Oh, yeah, they so. are. But um, that's we've seen that one numerous yeah. times. Um, Argo. Argo. Argo is another really fun movie. Um, uh, ben Affleck. Yes, Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, John Goodman, and uh, Gosh, Alan right. Arkin. Yeah. Really good movie. Now, there is Based on a true story. Profanity. A lot of profanity. Well, they use the they F dropped the bomb f bomb. A lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, murder at sixteen hundred um, with Denzel again. No, no. Oh no, it's um. Oh gosh, <laughs> I can see him. I can yeah. see him. Oh gosh, I almost had. Doesn't matter. Blade. <laughs> Blade. The guy who plays in Blade. Yeah. Okay. Uh, excellent movie. Don't you think? Oh, it's okay. It's good. Yeah. It's, it's good. about a murder in the White House. And yeah, it's good. Uh, what, what is the HD after? Uh, what is that HD? What is that for? I don't know. Maybe oh. it was in high definition. Oh, okay. Absolute power. Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. Gotta love really it. good. Mm. Kind of a hokey ending, but yeah. But a lot of movies are up to that point is really good. Yeah, John Malkovich. It's, no, 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 that's the other Clint one. Clint Eastwood. Um, What's that one? Oh, gosh almighty. Oh, G uh, Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, E.G. Marshall. Yes. And. Uh, the woman. I can't who, think. Who played the cop? Oh, what do you get? From uh, oh, yeah. The Rock. He played oh. the general in the wrong. Oh, God, yeah, no, yeah. it doesn't matter. Excellent movie, really good. Old age catching up. Now a lot here's of senile mo or uh, senior, senior moments. moments. It's not now senior. this this is one that we saw. It's an older film. It's a Tom Cruise film again with uh, anyway, Carmen Diaz. Very poor ratings. Yeah. Night and day. Mm -hmm. But again, a typical Tom Cruise movie. Lots of action. Lots yeah. of crashes. Yeah. Uh, and it's K N I G H T, not N I G. It's yeah. night, like a knight in armor. Yeah, and a lot of fun. Carmen Diaz, lots of fun. Uh, we had not seen this one, and it was rated one of the highest Christmas movies, which we yeah. kept trying to think. Oh, and very slow, oh, but yeah. but interesting. Very. Jimmy Stewart, The Shop Around the Corner. Yeah, it's a old classic. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and black and white. Oh, it's you know it's one of those wonderful old films. So if you have a chance to see that. Den of Thieves, Gerard. Den of Thieves, another Gerard uh, Butler action film. We watched about 10 minutes and we said, this is garbage oh, and we shut terrible. it off. it's terrible. It was awful. So, okay. I don't know why he did it. So, yeah. moving on. We're really making this long. But some people say, tell us movies. Uh, TV series, Annika. A-N-N-I-K-A. -N -N Annika, Annika, Annika. It's on season two. Mm -hmm. You got to watch it. I mean, we loved it, so there you go. And we're coming up to the final uh, Epis episode oh, this season. Yeah, and we and that's, season. What's her name? 
Nicole Walker. N Nicole, Nicole Walker. Yeah, Nicole yeah. Walker. Oh, she's good. She's good. Van der Volk. It's a, it's, it takes place in Amsterdam, and I don't know who the actor is. I don't know who the actor no, is. No, but it's, it's a... It, uh, um, Police. Danish. Danish, yeah, police. Suit. But it's English. I mean, they speak yeah, English. Yeah, it's all English, but yeah. it's a very good uh, crime series, police. Yeah. Professor T. Quirky. Very quirky. quirky. We saw the original, uh, which was German, I guess, yeah. German with subtitles, and it was outstanding. Yeah. But this is also very, very good. This yeah. is straight English. And it's it's quirky. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it... You know, what a disappointment this was. Portofino, yeah, season we two. Hotel Portofino, was it? Yeah. Uh, the first season, enjoyed it immensely. Yeah. This season, we started episode one, and we said, we don't care. Yeah, we just didn't we care about didn't the characters. We didn't like this lady. Yeah. She came off as an airhead. And, and yes, she did. Yeah. said, no, thank you. So, and then we have two here that we want to see that are coming up. Yeah. Uh, Equalizer with Denzel. This Which, is the third yeah. one? The third one? Fourth, I think. Oh, I goodness. don't know. Third or fourth. Yeah. Xfinity is giving us this deal this month. Uh, you can rent any movie for a dollar. So we're going to rent the new Equalizer film with Denzel and, Washington. And the other one is Yesterday. The other one is a film. Oh, I can't we, uh, what would be going to watch? It's a free film for us. Yeah. And it's called Yesterday. And it's about somebody who I think is in a accident has an accident or something and when he comes to i can't recall nobody has ever heard of the beatles that's it and he's playing beatles songs he's a musician and he's playing beatles songs and people say when did you write that yeah he said i didn't write that and he goes around and he keeps anyway it. very interesting premise yeah it is so we're gonna watch so that we're one we're gonna look at that that is the list. Okay, so we're done here. The movie uh, thing is done, and we've given you an update, and there you go. Yeah, we're uh, planning on quiet holidays. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, we want to thank you so much for hanging in with us. We really enjoy the comments that you make and that you watch us and it just it makes us happy and what makes us happy is that you are on this crazy ride with us that we call come on i know you can do it life life thanks a lot everybody take care bye-bye here's to you bye-bye